it's not a, a guaranteed win. Or is it? <laughs> Hello friends, my name is Brandon Dayton and I'm your humble narrator. Welcome to Tesla vs. Lovecraft. We have HP Lovecraft riding a giant eldritch horror. We have Tesla over here in his uh, electrified mech machine. Basically, you're going to be playing as the light, bringing the electric light to the darkness of the Lovecraft world. And uh, you've got a mech, you've got a bunch of upgrades and things like that. Um, you collect an Aether Crystal after completing daily quests or any quest. Killing a certain amount of enemies is usually what the uh, quest is. Not extremely inventive there, but uh, still really, really nice overall. So um, I'm hoping to get the um, armor plating, graphene alloy, so my mech will last a little bit longer. Because the mech is basically uh, what's going to win you games most of the time. I don't always need it, but uh, it is a really big help when I do get it. So these are some of the monsters that we will be fighting. We've got the deep ones, basically little tiny creeps that run around. Uh, the other kind of little tiny creep are the spider ghouls. Relatively easy to defeat. Then we've got the spawns of Dagon, which are uh, much bigger. They have like a charging attack. Pretty troublesome to deal with, especially in large groups. The Awakeners basically uh, start out as these projectiles spewing humans, and then once you kill the human form, they transform into this spider crab bot thing. Finally, we've got flying polyps, we've got Shogoths. Shogoths are kind of similar to the spawns of Dagon, um, in that they're just big and slow moving, and uh, you don't want to get close to them. So flying polyps do have like a, a spitting acid acid attack, but you don't really uh, see them that often, as you can tell by the uh, monster trophy level that I have for those last two. Relatively low. I've killed a lot of spider bots, killed a lot of awakeners, quite a few spawns of Dagon as well, uh, and we're really close to leveling up for the deep one. So let's see if we can do that in the, uh, the, in the next level. We've got our daily quest, which is a few more spawns of Dagon to be killed, uh, nine hours until the next quest, so I won't be waiting that long. I've got half of the weapons unlocked so far. We've got a revolver, we've got a shotgun, Tommy gun, rapid Tesla gun, and then basically the spread gun is the uh, shotgun version of the Tesla gun. So I'm really excited to see what comes next, uh, as I am for basically everything in this game. Also abilities, we've got the Nova, blast nearby enemies, relatively short range, X-ray blade basically sweeps a, a semicircle in front of you and will kill almost anything in front of it. Ather Disc is basically a ranged attack, which is a nice contrast to the first two. A ranged attack which bounces off walls additionally, so um, it doesn't do as much damage as the first two, but if you can bounce the Aether Disc through the crowd and then back again, it will definitely kill everything. You've also got Sparks, um, basically another semi-circle attack. It also bounces around just a little bit from what I've noticed. And then we've got Repulse throws nearby enemies with force. So uh, I have yet to use Repulse, but I figure it could be pretty useful, especially if you get surrounded and stuff like that. It's kind of the opposite of the Nova. Uh, Nova doesn't stuck, suck stuff in, but it does uh, kill everything around you. Repulse just pushes things around you away with force, which might mean that it kills them, but I guess we'll have to see. And then finally, we've got perks. Uh, as you level up, through each stage, you will unlock level up points, which can be spent on perks. And uh, some of these perks are actually pretty nice. And yeah, the the level ups reset between each stage. So you will be uh, able to reset your perks. If something isn't working, then you don't have to worry about it. If you die or you go to the next stage, you can pick something all over again. Unfortunately, that does also mean killing a lot of enemies in order to level up and get those perk points. Anyways, we got uh, faster shooting, extra speed, reaper bullets, plus weapon damage, maximum health, power up, uh, collecting the power up, Evan receives the benefits, which isn't really that beneficial since we're playing on single player, but if you didn't want to play a multiplayer, that, that would be a thing. One of my favorites is definitely extra barrel, uh, shoots an extra projectile. Once you get a couple of those, you'll be doing the spread shot even with the regular uh, projectile weapons. I really like that with the Tommy gun. We got the faster teleport speed. Uh, Tesla does have a quantum teleporter that he can use to jump through walls and get around the map and stay away from the, the doomy hordes of Lovecraft. So that's a pretty useful one. Bullet sharpening. 50% chance for your bullets to pierce opponents. Supply or receive 30% more power-ups and dodging. 25% chance to avoid damage. 
which is uh, obviously pretty important as well. So we'll see what we want to build. As you can see, I've done uh, roughly almost uh, half, about a little over a third, it seems. The map is kind of windy and such. But um, even once you complete the map on normal, we've got the Aether Plane, we've got the Eldritch Plane, which I assume is just uh, difficulty increase, more monster spawn and stuff like that. Which is also good because it means uh, more levels. More levels, more points. Let's go ahead and check out the Courtyard of Fears and see how that goes. You start out in your giant mech suit, uh, but that doesn't last too long. you got a little circle under it that will uh, show when the time expires for it. And then it explodes. So you want to be near some enemies when it explodes and just like that. Baboosh, baboosh. And we've got a lot of spider drones coming at me. I will get the shotgun, try to clear this horde down just a little bit. And uh, the shotgun's kind of troubling because you only have two shots and then you have to reset it. So I'll grab this and teleport out. Try to try to find my victory today. Over here. That's where I want to go. Let's get this repulse. And it's relatively useful, I guess. It's not the best thing ever, but um, it'll do. It'll do for now, that's for sure. So you got to make really good use of your teleports. You can teleport... Uh, a few times in a row. I think it's three times in a row. So, relatively uh, good if you're surrounded by enemies. You just uh, kind of mash mash your way through. I teleported into a nuke just there. So I got a nice big uh, mega kill. And it allowed me to get a shield. So I don't really have to worry about damage for just a moment. Which is pretty sweet. Gonna go ahead and use that repulse up. So I can pick up this sparks. And uh, knock some people down. Knocks people right down. Now, I've collected four pieces of my uh, mech suit. So, once I get to six, we will be able to resummon that mech. That's going to be pretty sweet. Here we go. Oh! <laughs> so, this is a really fun game. Um, I really like the fact that you're able to build your stats and things like that different ways. Um, I do have quite a few level ups. We can choose four perks now. So, I will go with uh, faster shooting for one. Supplier sounds good. Faster teleporter is also pretty good. Um, I guess I'll go faster teleporter. That's pretty nice. Bullet sharpening or faster shooting again. Uh, we'll go bullet sharpening this time. And finally, reaper bullets or extra speed. I will take the extra speed. So that should do. That should do me nicely. And hopefully those uh, piercing bullets will will come into play. It seems to be mowing down the uh, spider hordes. Just a little bit faster than before, so I'm appreciative, and uh, we'll just try to keep try to keep those levels coming. Tasty, tasty levels, and that spider kind of uh, juked me out. Got in close. Obviously, with the shotgun, you want to stay at the right distance away, not too far away, just the right distance. So there we go. Get a couple more pieces of my mech suit. I think we're up to two now. And there's uh, another piece there. Fire bullets. Fire bullets don't last for long, but they will mow some shit down while they do last. Oh, and that's that's the completion of the level. We killed enough spider ghouls to get some aether crystals, so that's pretty sweet. And we also got a new perk unlocked. Radiator. Nearby monsters get radiation poisoning that causes them damage over time. Pretty nice. So, uh, yeah. These were the perks that they used. Only took me two and a half minutes to complete the level, so... We definitely have time to do another one. Let's see what the docks are all about. Some of the maps uh, do get recycled just a little bit. They do have more obstacles put on them and such. But um, yeah, it's basically the same map, which I do find a little bit troubling. Um, I think that that could be done a little bit better. But um, who am I to complain, really? Overall, the game is extremely, extremely fun. Made by Ten Tons Limited, which uh, also did Neon Chrome and Judge, which are more cyberpunk. I'm a little bit surprised to see them uh, go to something a little more old school, but it definitely works out well in this case. So just teleporting through the, the hordes, trying to find some decent weapons. There's something up there. So let's go up there. Get this... Uh, oh, it just disappeared. It just disappeared as I showed up. Isn't that always the case? All right. So my teleports are kind of recharging. I need this Tommy gun. I need something a little better than what I had, the uh, the revolver pistol. A power-up would be really nice too. 
and uh, we'll just kind of beat back the hordes, try and hold this little line, at least uh, until they they push too far up. It seems to be working out okay, <laughs> at least gaining some some levels. There's my rapid Tesla gun. That'll do nicely. It's a favorite as well. Tommy gun's nice. Rapid Tesla gun, also pretty nice. Need one more piece to get my uh, mech suit back together, so let's work on that. Here we go. Yeah! <laughs> it's my favorite part. It's my favorite part! Oh, buddy. We are getting messed up. So let's uh, shoot the Aether Disc over there. I got my Nova now. Ooh, Nova Science now. Alright, a little bit of shield should help me. I've also got plenty of level ups, so uh, we should probably do that. That would be a smart thing. Start collecting my mech suit. Oh, but I got taken down. So, uh, not the easiest thing in the world. Um, even on the normal mode, it's not necessarily uh, a cakewalk. But it's definitely fun to try and retry. So we will go ahead and retry it. The docks not gonna not gonna get me. Think I'm gonna give up? I don't give up that easy, son. I'll go all day. I'll go all day, kid. And uh, you do have an enemy counter on the top. So currently we've got 26, but enemies do spawn in periodically. Occasionally you will get like a Cthulhu statue, which you have to destroy in order to stop uh, or at least reduce the enemy spawn rates because uh, eventually you will be overwhelmed. Extremely overwhelmed. I'm getting a little overwhelmed even now. <laughs> so I need to get to that uh, Tesla gun, maybe. Oh boy, oh boy. Need the heals. Yeah, I need the, the shotgun maybe. It's anything better than the revolver. Just, just help me out a little bit. Oh boy. All right, we're doing our best. We're trying hard. And, uh, yeah, I can't really hold this line quite yet. All right, that'll work. That'll work nicely. Thank you so much. Please drop dead. Everybody, drop dead. I should be concentrating on the mech suit. That's what's really gonna to win the day for me. Here's a little EXP doubler. And, uh, the Tommy gun. That could be pretty nice. There, help me out with the mech. That's what I really want. Mech stacked with XP doubling. That could be pretty sweet. We've got uh, some power up spawns. Really nice. So I've got uh, my X ray blade there. Working out. Working out for me. Oh boy. We've got a lot of spawns of Dagon over here. So we need to be careful. Just take down the little guys until I can uh, concentrate on the bigger ones. And also, I need to uh, get back around kind of concentrate on getting that mech suit back up. I would also like some levels. Oh, let's see. Nearby monsters get radiation poisoning. Oh, but I really like the extra barrel. I'll take the extra barrel for now. Faster teleport or bullet sharpening. We'll do the piercing bullets. Faster teleport or radiator. This time I will take radiator. Extra speed is what I want. A little bit of dodging could help me out. And uh, supplier or more health. We'll take more health. I do suppose that'll be nice and uh, it seems that these bullets are not as helpful um, I do have two of these barrels going at the same time which is a nice thing but it's not a, a guaranteed win or is it <laughs> level complete so there we go victory victory it's got to be a little strategic We've got another ability unlocked now. Explosive barrel drops a barrel full of high explosives. My goodness, that could be quite nice, could it not? Mm. And I've got enough aether crystals to level something up. So perk offering can be shuffled for new perks. Interesting. Not necessarily something uh, that catches my eye. I think I'd rather save up just a little bit. Teleport through spawning points. That could be really cool, so uh, all the uh, teleporters that are used to spawn enemies can be used to jump through. So maybe that, maybe the graphene alloy, although the graphene alloy does have a lot of ranks to it. And then we've got the uh, quantum condenser, gives an additional charge to abilities. 
uh, like the X-Ray Blade, the Adder Disc. So maybe that'd be good too, but um, we'll have to see. We'll have to see what is needed. It will take some time, I am sure. Let's go ahead, check this level out. We'll get it going. We'll do it all day. All day, son! And now you can see those, uh, those little mind monsters. You knock down the human form and then the little uh, brain thing pops out. And they're like, I'm gonna get you. No, you're not. Not today, kid. Teleport across this gap. Maybe that wasn't a good idea. Or I could just go back. <laughs> That's how we do that. Oh boy. I do not like this. Sam I am. I do not like brains and ham. Oh boy. Alright, so just kind of collecting the mech suit. Trying to keep out of trouble until then. The revolver is just uh, not what I'm not what I'm needing at the moment. How about that? That's another piece of the mech suit. Come on, come on, help me out here. Oh boy, we are we are getting slightly overwhelmed here. Oh no 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 no! I ran out of teleports. There's a spread gun. Hopefully this is gonna do something nice for me. It's at least uh, a little bit helpful. Spawn an explosive barrel. Oh, I see what you're doing there. So I kind of uh, blew the enemies up. That's what we need to do. It takes a little bit of forethought to use this ability. It's not one that you can just uh, spam like the others. But I kind of like the spammable abilities. But I'll take what I can get. One more piece of the mech suit to go. And then we'll be able to bring some doom. Bring some heavy doom. Oh boy. Now mech suit! Yes! Oh, and you can also uh, dash with the mech suit. Which is really, really helpful for getting between two points. And also for uh, damaging enemies. I rather like. So let's get this Nova. And boo! Boo! Take it down. Go ahead and hit that level up. Just if you need a little boost, uh, teleporter cooldown, I'll take that. Hmm, faster fire rate, that sounds good to me. Reaper bullets, plus weapon damage, yes. Extra barrel, I like that as well, with the plus weapon damage. Ooh, that could be dooming. And bullet sharpening on top of all that, wow. It's gonna be uh, quite a rough time for these boys, I tell you what. Level completed. <sighs> Uh, the levels probably do need to last just a little bit longer. Uh, regeneration. Every 10 seconds you regain a little bit of life. That seems like a really, really good perk. Um, probably the levels do last a little longer once you get on Aether and Eldritch. Right now I'm clearing them all in a relatively quick fashion. We'll go ahead and do one more. Um, you guys basically get the get the gist of what's going on here. It's rather nice, if, uh, if I do say so myself. I, and, uh, I love Neon Chrome and Judge. I love top-down shooters in general, but, um, this definitely has a, a nice feel to it. It's definitely got a cool aesthetic, which I can say the same about Neon Chrome and Judge, but they were set basically in the same universe. These guys, it seems, are dropping, like, dangerous little pools that I don't want to be a part of. So, um, I'm just gonna teleport around a little bit more. Try and get something done. Oh boy. Shotgun, shotgun! Alright, let's see if I can help hold them off and uh, help myself to a little bit of Nova. Nova science now, the more you know. There's a Tommy gun, time warp. I will take all of this. And I've only got enough uh, XP for one level up. I guess I'll take it. Faster teleport. Regeneration sounds nice, but uh, I've only lost a smidge of health at the moment. I don't necessarily need to recover that. So I'm going to avoid these little pools of death, because that doesn't seem like something that I want to mess with right now. And uh, the spread gun should be able to, to help me out just a little bit. Alright, that's working nice. I haven't seen any statues of Cthulhu in a while. Oh boy. Let's get these fire bullets. Fire bullets do add piercing, so uh, that's pretty helpful as well. And I see a mech part over there, but I'm kind of scared to go for it, because we've got all of these baddies running about. Actually, we've only got four of them left, so that could be about it. Level complete. Bam. We got it. 
fire vampire. Yeah, we killed a shit ton of them. That's for sure. Ricochet, bullets bounce from walls. Awesome. I really, really like these perks. Um, it's, it's a game that sucked me in. I keep saying one more time. So, okay, one more time. One more, one more time. Death Square. And uh, we might die in the Death Square. But that's okay. That's That happens sometimes. There's some of those, uh, what is that, polyps? I think that's what that is. Oh boy. And there's uh, some of that acid spray that I was talking about very early on. I did get a level up from the uh, running around in the Reaper bot. So that could be pretty helpful. And just kind of keep myself out of trouble here. There are some some power-ups, which I might want to go down this way. Oh boy! Oh boy! All day, all day, every day. Here, here's what we do. Alright, stay away from the spider bots. Wait, they're not bots. They're just weird things. Oh wow, this is, this is not good. There's a shield right there. I would really like to get to that shield. Oh, they're, they're just everywhere. I need some power-ups. I need some power-ups now. Nearby monsters get radiation poisoning. Sounds good to me. Faster shooting or regeneration. Ah, uh, that's a toughie. That's a toughie. I'll take regeneration because I'm poisoning the monsters. So uh, if I can regenerate my life, that'll that'll make that much of a difference. So I got my shield now. It's not gonna last forever, but at least it'll uh, give me a chance to put some of the hurt on these fellas. And I did get a, a multi-kill there. So there's another power-up that's been dropped. And boom, a little bit of repulse. Repulse so I can get to the shield. Excellent. Well done! Huzzah! Oh boy, this is not good. Just, just keep them pushed away. There we go. A little bit more level up. Hmm, ricochet or faster teleport? Both of these are nice. Faster teleport, I guess. And ricochet. Why not? I, I do like the dodging as well, but um, yeah. Could be better. Could be better, could be worse. Oh god. I'm almost out of teleports now. And my life is uh, holding up pretty well, thanks to my, my regeneration ability. So I'll just try and uh, hold down this little spot down here, at least until I get taken over by spider bots. Okay, all right, everything's fine. EXP doubler. We got another level up on the way as well. So perhaps I should do that. Perhaps I should do just that. And uh, yeah, just teleporting at the right time. It's extremely important. I was able to take everything down with a nuke, and it seems like I'm winning out just a little bit. Let's get this mech going. That'll finish it off. Yeah, boy! Mow them down! It's like mowing the grass. Oh, and even the mech bullets uh, ricochet. That's fucking sweet. Flying polyps. Polymurderous. I got an achievement for that. Sweet. And we got the Gauss shotgun. Shoots metal pellets that, pe pellets that pierce nearly everything. Awesome. Ah, uh, I'm going to use that at some point. But not on camera. I said that was going to be the last one, so uh, we're going to call it. Thank you so much for watching, friends. Definitely check out Tesla vs. Lovecraft coming on January 26th to Steam. A Steam account near you! Uh, the link is in the description if you'd like to check that out. Please also don't forget to like, comment, and or subscribe if you did enjoy the episode. That is always helpful. Helps the channel to get out there. We've also got links to Discord, Twitter, Patreon, Facebook, Anook, all kinds of crazy stuff down in the description. So hit me up on any of those. I'd be happy to chat you up. Anyways, friends, this has been Tesla versus Lovecraft. I keep wanting to say it the other way. Lovecraft versus Tesla, but yeah. It's basically the same. Either way you flip it. <laughs> I think. Anyways, uh, I will see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching, friends. I truly, truly appreciate your patronage, especially if you have watched this far. I shall see you in the next, in the next one, friends. And until then... Bye-bye! One, two, three, four Goodbye, goodbye, see you again Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends